Hey everybody, so this is going to be my final empties video in this household here. Um, we are moving in six days. I'm not sure if this video is going to go up before or after we move, but this is the last one in our current house. I thought it'd actually be a lot more full, because typically once I start packing, I start purging things and throwing things out and finding things that are actually empty to add to it. But it's not, it's not that full. These are just things that I'm not going to move with me. I'm obviously going to show you before I throw them out. But um, I did do a whole separate video on things that I'm not calling empties, but I'm just products that I don't use anymore. And that's a huge video. So I'll link that down below if you want to see the items I just kind of threw out. These are videos that I've, or videos, these are products I've actually emptied. So I'll kind of tell you my little opinion on them. So the first thing is the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. This face and nose combination. I've had this for like two years. There's 14 in here. I don't use it very often. It reminds me of my like teenage years. Um, something really gratifying about pulling, you know, blackheads and crap out of your pores. And if I'm feeling like I'm particularly breaking out or greasy, I will use one. I use them more in like the, the warmer months. Right now my skin is so dry that it really can't handle it, but I used it the last one recently. So yeah. The next is this Pond's BB Cream. This is the shade Light. I had a whole bunch of these because I did a review on them like a year and a half ago now, a long time ago. They sent me a bunch of them. And that's a light one. It's probably the second one I've gone through. They take a long time to go through. It's a really solid BB Cream. I have a whole separate review on it. Maybe I'll link it down below. I do like it very, you know, dependable BB Cream, I'll say. The next thing is the Suave Keratin Infusion Dry Shampoo. Now this is not my favorite dry shampoo, but I bought a bunch of them way back when at Target. They're really inexpensive and they're okay. They're, they're not greasy, they do their job. I just like Batiste better, but they're a really cheap version. So it's something I'd buy again if I couldn't find Batiste for sure. Um, but like I said, not my absolute favorite. This candle is the Pumpkin Caramel Latte Candle. I didn't use it all the way up as you can see, but I don't know, I, need, I think I need one of those lighters that you know, or on a stick because once it gets too far down into like these little tiny jars, I end up burning myself if I use a normal lighter trying to light it. And I just have so many other candles. I guess it's one of those items that's not fully done, but I'm throwing it out because I don't want to move with it. But oh my goodness, it smells so good. I could eat it. Um, what else? I have a couple Honest Company products. Cause like I said, I did their little trial thing. The first is the shampoo and body wash. It smells really good. I used it on my kids. I would definitely purchase it for them. I like obviously the ingredients in the Honest Company, that's what they're known for, so I was happy with it. And the face and body lotion, I did use it on myself. It smells really good, like the shampoo, but it's a very lightweight moisturizer, and right now being winter, fall winter, I'm liking thicker moisturizers. It's not something I go out and purchase, but it was nice, it was all right. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Mineral Primer Oil Free. A little sample. I actually got two uses out of it, and I really liked it. it blended in well. It wasn't too silicone-y. It didn't do a whole lot for my pores, but it made my makeup go on beautifully, and it did help with the longevity. Um, I think this is a really expensive Hourglass. I think they're a really expensive brand, so I don't know that I would go out and purchase it just for a primer, and I really like the Benefit Pore Professional, but it was nice. This I'm finally getting rid of because I got a new one. It's the NARS uh, Crystal, Crystal Translucent Light Reflecting Setting Powder. The pressed version, which you guys have probably seen in this channel a lot. I've been trying to get the last bits out of it. Love the powder, repurchased it. It's beautiful for so many reasons. I could go on forever, but I will stop. Okay, this is a little sample guy from the Body Shop. It's a vitamin E moisture cream for your face. There it is there. I got a bunch of different sample ones from the body shop like a couple months ago because I just wanted to try it out before I committed. I know that I like the um, seaweed line, but I wanted to try it a few more. The vitamin E line, I didn't like. I don't like the scent. Um, I didn't find it sat very well under my makeup and that it did a whole lot for my skin. I don't know, I just, I wasn't a fan of the vitamin E line. This has got to be pow powderful volumizing styling powder. I don't think it's completely done, but actually I've used up quite a bit more than I even knew. It's a little like powder that you put in your roots and you can kind of scrunch your roots up like that and it's supposed to volumize and it does a little bit, but 
but it also leaves your hair feeling really nasty and like sticky and um, gunky and you just have to wash your hair after you use it. So I don't know, I know my hair is flat, but I'm just kind of embracing the flatness and haven't been using it. So I'm getting rid of it. This is the BioSilk Silk Therapy. Um, it's just like a, like a gel product that you put in your ends of your hair, like an oily gel product. I use the whole thing up. I wouldn't call it my favorite. I like Moroccan oil better, but it did leave your hair shiny and smooth if you're looking for something like that. Not a lot of, not a lot of these are my favorite, I'm noticing. This was from a Ipsy bag. It's the Aries Body Butter. I used it up and I can't remember what I thought of it. It smells good, it smells lemony. I remember it being thick, but I don't remember it enough to think that it was fabulous. So it couldn't have been that good if I didn't like write it down when I needed to go purchase it. So yes, this I also got in a glossy box or no, an Ipsy bag a long time ago. Malin and Gotez Mojito Lip Balm. Really nice, smooth, moisturizing lip balm. Used it every day for a very long time when I was doing my makeup. And then I got another one in a Ipsy bag that was like a stick format. And I just realized that, you know what? I don't like this is like a gel. And I'm not a big fan of squeezing jell out and then making sure it doesn't get on the rest of my face and like it sinks in. I just like stick chapstick better basically. But it is really nice. This is the Dream Lumi by Maybelline Under Eye Concealer Corrector Brightener Thingy. I've had it for far too long. It does a really good job of brightening but doesn't conceal in my opinion and doesn't have very long lasting powers. It's not something I'll be repurchasing it. But I did love it for a period of time there. And this is the first time I tried the Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes Formula Mascara. And I was pleasantly surprised. I usually don't like new mascaras, but I like branched out. I like the scoop wand. I like the bristles on it. Um, it reminded me a lot of the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, except it built, it built a little bit more volume, and I like that the way it fit to my eye better. I wouldn't call it super lengthening, but like as a basic solid mascara, I would probably repurchase this again. I really liked it. So yeah, that's it for my empties before I move. I hope you guys are all doing well and thank you so much for watching. Bye!